The chief is taking you out on a mission? Just me and my dad. No brothers, no sister. No us. I feel so abandoned. Don't take it personally, Blades. It's called Father-Son Time. I learned about it from a cereal box. I read that box as well. I learned that fiber promotes excellent digestive health. Dad and I'll really be roughing it. Sleeping outside. Don't you like sleeping inside? Out of the rain and cold and bugs that crawl into your shoes when you're not looking? Well, yeah, but... Cody is following accepted camping protocol according to the Lad Pioneer's Handbook 1959 edition. Cody, all set to head out for Griffin Crest? Ready, Dad. <laughs> Whoa! You sure you don't want to ride? No thanks, Heatwave. You bots need to stay put. If there's an emergency, defer to Cade. He's in charge while I'm gone. <sighs> if you forgot something, we can always bring it to you. No, you can't. You're not to follow us, tail us, or join us. Cody and I are going to a treacherous area that's no place for bots. But, but um, what if you need us? Let me be clear. You are not to cross Canyon Road into Griffin Crest. Not under any circumstances. Understood? We will follow your orders to the letter of the law, Chief. But please be sure to call and check in. Fifty years back, scientists put a magnetic pulse generator here in Griffin Crest. Designed to disable all circuitry. Why would they want to do that? As a last resort, if an experimental machine ever went haywire, people could come here, and the tech would automatically shut down if it tried to follow. Now I understand why you made such a big deal about the bots staying home. The magnetic pulse would freeze them in their tracks immediately. Keys? Kind of low tech for a classified area, Dad. Well, electronics won't work inside, remember? I just wish I had labeled these. I better call Blades while I still can. He's a worrier. Aw, oh, man. One bar? I got it. I got it. Hello? Guys? Dangerous. Huge bear that... Attack us. Hello? Hello? Cody? Did he say bear attack? Chief, come in. It's Cody's phone. Leave a message. Something's wrong. Rescue bots, it's time to roll to the... The Chief's explicit orders were to remain here and not follow, tail, or join him. Okay, what about rescue him? You like rules so much? Rescue bots rule number one. Help when needed. Chief assigned authority to Cade. We need his permission before going to Griffin Crest. The longer we argue, the more danger Cody could be in. Fine. Cade Burns, come in, Cade. No answer. That settles it. Wait, what about Graham or Danny? The rules say we need Cade's permission. Which we did not receive, so we must remain here. Wrong. Cade may be the leader of his team, but I'm the leader of mine. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! I will follow your order, but only as far as Canyon Road, per Chief's order. It is not too late to turn back, or attempt to contact Cade again. We're going to help Cody, with or without you. Then, it will have to be without me. I cannot cross Canyon Road. Sorry, Chase. No sign of Cody or Chief. Maybe they're beyond the fence. What's happening? Wait! Ow! Blade! 
Blades, are you all right? Of course. How could I get hurt falling upside down onto your back? I can't change into bot mode. <sighs> My tires won't move. Nothing will. It's like we're being held in place. But if we're here to rescue Cody, who's going to rescue us? Chase to rescue bots. Come in, rescue bots. What is your status? Heat wave! Can you hear me? This is undoubtedly an emergency, but I require permission to assist. Chase to Cade. Do you copy? Protocol dictates use of secondary communication channels. Emergency dispatch. Is Cade available? Chase, is that you? <laughs> Why are you calling the emergency line? Uh, be, uh, code 1070 violation in progress at Canyon Road, bordering Griffin Crest. <laughs> Require immediate backup from the entire team. Wait, wait, wait. hello? Wait, code 1070, uh, civil disturbance, vandalism, or littering? <sighs> This day can't get any worse. Heat wave, don't say that. In the movies, whenever someone says that... It always gets worse. It must smell food. Yeah, it smells all right. Not only did you interrupt my date, I missed the end of the movie. This better be huge. I'm sure it is. The bots took off without us. Chase said he needed the whole team. I have violated a municipal code and am prepared to pay the price, but I could think of no other way to summon Cade and thereby induce him to override Chief's specific instructions. Uh, anybody follow that? Cody and Chief may be in danger. Heat Wave, Blades, and Boulder are currently attempting a rescue. However, I have not been able to contact them since they entered Griffin Crest. Griffin Crest? That's no place for bots or any other tech. Once you cross the boundary, it's a magnetic dead zone. Vehicle mode, Chase. We have to get up there, now. To do that, I would have to cross Canyon Road, a violation of Chief's explicit orders. Overruled. Let's move. Finally. There. They're frozen on top of old Parker. Is elderly Mr. Parker a threat? He's a super hot geyser. Due to blow in three minutes. We have to tow the bots out of there now. Chase, you can't drive into the magnetic zone. You'll be frozen too. So what do we do? No way a tow line's long enough to reach the bots from here. May I suggest we augment my tow line with rope? Well, is this strong enough? It will be, once I consult the Lad Pioneer's manual and find the most durable knot. Okay, whose tailpipe is steaming? Nobody's. You're parked on a geyser that's about to erupt. We need to tow you out, now. I have a flat. Take care of the other two first. <clears throat> Pull, Chase! Where is Heatwave? I'm going back for him now. I can't. The guys are well erupt in seconds. Rescue bot rule number one. Help when needed. Chase! Wait! No! Chase! What are you doing? Now both of us will be destroyed. Dad, are they... I can't watch. Wait, look! Not that 
I'm ungrateful. But what in Primus's core made you think that ten would protect us? I read the manual. The rules of use clearly state this tent will withstand extreme temperatures. I guess rules can be useful once in a while. May I have that in writing?